Hi everybody, welcome to a blush collection and declutter. I don't anticipate I am going to get rid of too many things, but I'm not sure. This isn't gonna be like a ruthless, let's see how many things I can possibly get rid of, but just to realistically make a dent in all of this. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with an easy thing to declutter. This is from Too Faced. So this is the Your Love is King. This is one of the Love Flush blushes. So this thing I had, uh, so I didn't obviously hit pan on this. This was taken out to do some sort of like Franken shadow and blush projects, but not really a great blush formula. I was just using it to experiment with. So that's an easy declutter. And just like this one is an easy keep, this is from MAC, and I just talked about this in a favorites video. This is Warm Soul. So this is one of my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite blushes that I just can't imagine not having. Hmm. This is one from Tarte. This is Mirage, which I like the name, obviously. I'm not sure. So I think I'm gonna have three piles. I'm gonna have a pile of definite declutters. I'm gonna have a pile of definite keeps and a pile of things that I want to, to use to see if that's actually worth keeping. So this is gonna be for the third pile. So I'll put this into a rotation and see if I actually use it and if I actually like it. Hard to know where to start sometimes. This Physician's Formula blush, or is this? Yes, this is, oh, there was a brush in there apparently. I can tell when something's not very well used when like there's a brush in that component for some of the, the blushes that I have, but this is the Happy Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural from Physician's Formula. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is an old one. This is what had fallen out, clearly not used, and I'll be, I don't have a use for these either. I will be keeping these Physician Formula blushes though, the Butter Blushes. So this one is Vintage Rouge. I like these ones, so same sort of packaging, kind of annoying, but I like these blushes. They're very light, but I'm very fair skinned, so they work really well for me. So I have a couple of the butter blushes. I have uh, Natural Glow and Plum Rose, as well as, I see this one over here. This one is another Plum Rose. Wait a second. Hold up. How do I have two? Okay, well I'm gonna keep the one that's the better quality then and get rid of the other one. <laughs> this is why declutters are necessary. I don't know how. I ended up with duplicates. Disappointed in myself. Uh, one of my favorite uh, blush formulas is these ones from Clinique. These are the cheek pops. So this is melon pop. So I love the little flower print on that one. So I have a couple of these. I'll be keeping all of these because I really like them. So I see this one here. This is ginger pop. I already know that one because this was I think the first one I got that made me really, really, really like this blush formula. So I will be keeping those two and trying to reach. Uh, this one is Cola Pop. This is a new one to me. I've used it a couple of times. It's a very dark, beautiful, deep blush. I still can't believe I had duplicates of this physician formula blushes. Wow. Okay. Um, easy keeps for me, the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Duo blushers. I talk about these all the time because I love using them. So this particular one is peach and then this one is the rose and they are just stunning. So I love the packaging and I love the blushes. So easy keeps. This one I'm not sure about keeping. This is from the now defunct Estee Edit. So that was like the Estee Lauder spinoff. Uh, I'd have to really like this blush to keep it, but I'm also kind of curious about it because this brand doesn't exist anymore. So in the future, it might be interesting to kind of explore like 
truly the real downfall of the Estee Edit. I've talked about it a couple of times, but I think this is the only Estee Edit product I have. So I'm gonna put that in the maybe. The maybe pile. I'm also gonna put this NARS one in the maybe pile as well. This is a uh, Ghouli. This came from, uh, I think it was, this was the, the reward Sephora gave you for hitting Rouge one year. I'm not super crazy about the NARS blush formula, so I'm gonna keep this and see if I actually use it, because I definitely have not used it very much. This Milani blush is an easy keep for me. This is the Romantic Rose Powder Blush, so uh, it's a very good neutral blush color. Again, I'm a sucker for the print stuff, which is why I like the uh, Clinique ones. This one had the rose print on it. I'm a sucker for those things. Also, this Milani one I will be keeping as well, this other Milani one. Uh, this is the Illuminating Face Powder, but I would only use this as a blush, so I like swirl in everything all together. Makes a really beautiful sort of color. Um, I'm not really swatching blushes because I feel like it doesn't really swatch very well. Like, yeah, like that's not picking up product, but I know like when I apply it, I do pick up product. Like it just doesn't swatch on my finger. So I am keeping the two Milani. Like I said, this is mostly a, a collection instead of an actual, like, dedicated Ruthless declutter. I am going to declutter this NYX blush, though. This is Angel. I only bought this because I saw Project Panner use it once, and I liked how it looked on her, and then I really didn't use it very much. It was just one that time when I was like, I want to have everything. Next, from e.l.f. So I really like this duo. Uh, so you have, like, a darker sort of like almost a rusty kind of color and then like a peach kind of color. And I find that they pair really well together. And I don't have anything that's like this. This is the Matte Blush Duo and this is Rosy Flush. And I just really think that it's kind of a unique pairing of colors. So I will keep those. I really, really like drugstore blushes like a lot. I am gonna declutter this from NARS. This is NARS Assist and it has a highlighter, it has a blush, and it has a bronzer, but not for me. I'm not even sure what shade this is. It may be Orgasm, not sure. Don't like it. This is a blush I got recently from Max Factor. This was part of the stuff that Look Fantastic sent to me for the Halloween look, but it arrived broken and then I didn't bother repressing it. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe, see if I can repress it and save it. If I can't save it with repressing, then I will declutter it. This one I was keeping in a little organizer that had my lash glue. So you can see that it's got the, the lash glue on it but this is the can make cream blush and this particular one is number seven just trying to open it so it's a cream it's a cream blush it's very pretty I want to use this more it's very bright so I feel like I have to pair it with the right sort of eye look but this is something I want to explore more of before it goes bad on me as the cream blushes tend to do. What's this one? This is the classic Tarte exposed little mini. Oh no, this is a highlight? What is this even doing in here? This doesn't belong here. Okay. This does go with the highlight section, which I will be decluttering at some point in the future. I thought that was a blush. Probably because it is called exposed. But I will be doing a highlight declutter and then that's probably going to go in the maybe because I have not used that in so long. So long. I'm going to declutter this thing. Oh my god, you remember? does anybody remember how crazy this was? The Lolita eyeshadow and blush. I got it because I fell for the hype and it's really not very good. It didn't apply very well as a blush at all. Very, very streaky. I wanted to make it work because everybody liked it and everybody was talking about how good like the Lolita color was, but I didn't even like it on me anyway. So. Moving on. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one from Milk as well. This is Work, if it will show up. The dangers of my camera, there we go. Work, lip and cheek. Uh, not a big fan of this particular kind of color. 
Not a big fan of like milk products in general, so I will declutter that one. This is similar packaging. This is from Tarte. This is the Tarte Flush, and if I remember, yes, yeah, see, I, I was intim intimidated by this because it's such a dark color, but it was such like a light sort of sheer tint. I gotta use this more. So this has to go in the maybe pile because there's no point keeping it if I just think it looks cool and I look at it every now and then. This one I've used a few times. I used this in a Kevin Aquan tutorial when I was doing a, a look from one of his books. The Sephora Colorful Cheek Ink Gel in Peony. So I will keep that one because I used it recently and I liked it. I'm not sure about these Milani blushes. That's why I keep hanging them out here because I'm not sure if I want to keep them. Thinking. This one on top of this pile, this Sigma blush. This is Nymphaea. Or a powder face powder. I don't like this color. Uh, I don't feel like this is a very flattering blush shade for me at all. So I'm going to declutter that one. The MAC ones are easy keeps for me because I really enjoy the MAC blush formula. I have my MAC custom palette somewhere too. I'm not sure. Everything I own should be here, but I'm not sure where the custom palette is because I just used that not that long ago. But anyway, I'm not decluttering that. Um, and I'm not decluttering any of my MAC blushes. This particular one must be Breath of Plum, yes. Sorry for the focusing issues, but this is Breath of Plum. You can see how some of the things are more dirty than others because of how I use them, but I will be keeping all of my MAC blushes. Like this one is uh, Cheek Pollen. So that's what this one looks like. All of these I love. I love all of my MAC blushes. I just remembered this duo that was sitting on my uh, stand where I film. And these are two very bright MAC blushes. Definitely keeping those. And like I said, the blush palette is not here. I'm not sure where it is. Everything else should be in this pile. But that blush palette... Oh, wait. It was in a similar spot with... Okay, so everything should have been, everything is there and I just dug this out because it was with the filming stuff. So it was in the same spot where I had the other MAC uh, blushes, the blush duo. This is very well used, very well loved. Some of my favorite blushes have been the MAC blushes over time and it still continues to be that way. This is one from Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Bronzer in Capri. And I used this a lot. This was a favorite because I was using it as the bronzer mostly. So you can see that. I might declutter this. Again, unsure. I'm going to put it in the maybe to rotate around just to give it more love. I really like this blush. This is from Corez. This is, uh, what's the shade? On the front it says Zay Mays blush. Luminous finish. But it's such a unique color. I don't have a blush that's really this sort of shade. So I don't use it very often. I use it sparingly, but we'll be keeping it. I really enjoy my blush kits from Anastasia. So this has some unique shades in here. I will be keeping this one as well as this one. Playing Jenga with my blushes. Ooh. Oh no, 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 no. I failed, I lost. Okay. I tried to, to to bring this one out too. This is the Radiant Blush Kit. And I do still use these quite often. I do enjoy those. What fell was the Fenty Cream Blush in Drama Class, which is that beautiful purple. And this is a relatively new one to me. Definitely keeping that. Really enjoy using that blush. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. I used this pretty recently and I really enjoy this blush as well, so I will be keeping that one. And this fell. This is also new to me. This is a blush palette from Don't You Fall Tart. This is from Wet n Wild and I really like these blushes and highlighters in here and they make for really pretty blush looks. It's very easy using a blush palette. I really like being able to mix things. So this Tartist Pro Glow Blush Palette. I will be keeping this one. Oh dear. I just, <sighs> <laughs> I 
I'm not very good at these videos. Um, I will be keeping this one because my son picked it out for me and he, every time he sees me use it, he's like, you look so pretty. So it's very sweet and sentimental. And I do like it. The one I just gouged with my thumb is actually a really, really nice blush shade. And this one I've talked about recently. Honestly, if it wasn't for this shade, the rest of them aren't very special, but this shade is so, so special. Could I depot it? Yes. Will I? No. I can't be bothered because I might actually break it and it's not worth it. It doesn't take up that much extra space. I will be getting rid of this one. This is a, another physician formula, one of those happy ones. Happy to be gone. Another MAC one to keep. This is Peaches. Peaches Beautiful Blush. So another, another keep. Again, I'm not sure what to do with these Milani ones. This Pixie one is going to go in the maybe category because I haven't used it very much. So I need to use it or lose it. This is one from Dior. This is such a neat packaging. This is Rosy Glow, Healthy Glow Awakening Blush. And it's so pink, but it doesn't apply that pink. It just looks so natural and radiant. So another winner. I hope nobody's coming into this assuming that I am getting rid of so much stuff because you are very disappointed. This is Coastal Sense Blush Essentials, which has some very, very, pigmented, unusual blush colors than I normally use, so I keep them for more like editorial stuff. This one I haven't used too much, but it's got these fun sort of like highlighter sort of shades that are fun to layer. So keeping that, again, I find blush palettes really easy to use. These two are relatively new to me as well. It is the Clown Blush Palette from Likely Makeup, which is so beautiful and the Fairy Blush Palette from Likely Makeup. Unreal. Love these. This is Ancient. This is a Tarte blush, holiday blush sort of collection, and it's Ancient. And I, I don't wanna let it go, but at the same time, I want to let it go. You know what, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut and I'm gonna declutter it because I feel like I have a lot of similar shades and I'm not crazy about the Tarte blush formula. This is Fever from MAC, which is another beautiful deep blush color. I think I'm missing my Juvia's Place blush palette, but I tend to use that more as like an eyeshadow thing as well. And I'm not sure where that is. It's probably with the eyeshadow. Again, not sure about these Milani. Natasha Denona blush. This is the Blush Duo palette number nine. So it's got number two, 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 and number four, matte peachy nude. Really enjoy this one. It's very similar to the e.l.f. in sort of the colors, but it's Natasha Denona. So I'm keeping that because the formula is fantastic. Speaking of Natasha Denona, this one, the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is incredible. I've hit pan on this shade, trying to show without reflecting. This is the glow, so it's covered by the protector because this is a cream product and I use it as a blush though. So I really, really enjoy this cream blush formula. I use it a lot. This is one of my most used overall. Another MAC blush in Melba. I thought the other one was Melba. This one, it's getting a little old. Will I toss it soon? Probably if I, well, I say that, but. I have probably have a harder time letting go of the MAC stuff than I do some of the other things. This is a Too Faced blush, Papa Don't Peach. I have not used this very much at all. I am going to put this into the maybe because it does look a little bit different. And this one I think I need to put into the maybe as well. This is a, ooh, this is a cream stick from Chanel. And I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm going to put this in the maybe. This is blush number 23. So this will go in the maybes as well. This Chanel blush is a keeper for sure. This is Elegance. It's very similar to Warm Soul. And I love this, this blush quite, quite a bit. I use this often as well because it's just such a beautiful, natural kind of blush shade for me. I have this Sephora Z palette. 
These are all Makeup Geek blushes from ages ago, um, but I keep it because I really enjoy using them and they've stood the test of time. These are Anastasia like contour powders, which I use as blushes. So I, I still refuse to get rid of them because I like them and I use them and I feel like they've held true. This Milani blush is also one of my most reached for blushes. I use this one a lot. Color Harmony Pink Play. We're getting down there. I'm gonna declutter this one from Annabelle. It is called something Rosewood, I think. But this is what it looks like. It, the packaging broke. It's not crazy about it. And Annabelle's a Canadian brand and I don't feel like people talk about Annabelle at all. Is this the exposed? Oh yeah, this. so this is the, the Tarte blush in exposed. It's broken, I did hit pan on it and then it broke, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Dior blush, what is this one? Happy Cherry. Oh yes, this is really pretty as well. Most of the, I just have like a little display of like some of my fancier makeup, like some of my nice Dior stuff and this usually lives in there. I should use it more, but say la vie. I have two newish to me pixie blush and kind of highlighter palettes, so I do use these since they are new. So I'll put those aside. And then finally, I have five Milani blushes, these baked blushes, which used to be all the rage. I, I can't decide. I can't decide. I have Bella Rosa, Bella Bellini, Berry Amore, Dolce Pink, and Coralina. So I'm going to keep those in the maybe. Just because I'm going to have to put together a little basket to rotate through blushes, and then I'll probably end up decluttering further from there. So for the maybe pile, we have these five. So for the maybe pile, we have these five plus nine others. So that's 14 for the maybe. Okay, here are all of the declutters. So there's a mix of products here. We have some higher end stuff. We have some drugstore stuff. It's a mix of, mix of high and low, but it's only 12 things that I'm getting rid of entirely with a possibility of a, for a 14 because of the ones that are in the maybe. So I might end up getting rid of all 14. I might keep all 14. I might get rid of half of them, who knows, but a definite 12 decluttered. So I did a very rough count and I didn't count individual pans of product as separate products. I just counted everything as one. That's what I did for the things that I had decluttered. So for example, this is one product. This is one product. So I counted 38. I probably miscounted, but I believe it's 38 that I'm keeping, 12 that I'm getting rid of, 14 maybe. So yes, I'm keeping the large majority of stuff in my collection overall, but I feel like I did a really good job to start with because I feel like declutters, they aren't always just an instant thing, at least not for me. I like to take my time and that's why it's good for me to have a few things that are maybes, when in reality, I'll probably end up getting rid of at least half of the things. At least I'm being honest with myself and I'm not forcing myself to get rid of things that I would end up missing and then want to try and purchase or tr you know, be upset that I don't have anymore. The things that I'm certain about getting rid of, I'm definitely certain about getting rid of them. There's no hesitation there. So there's the ones that I'm sure about keeping, no hesitation. Things I'm sure about getting rid of, no hesitation. And then the things that I did have hesitation for, I'm keeping to rotate through. And of course I will do an update again. Uh, let me know how you would like to see an update on those sort of blushes because there are quite a few that I would need to take some time to use or to attempt to use because I will have to give myself some kind of cutoff. If I don't use it after a certain date, I'm just gonna have to let it go because I'm definitely not gonna use it then because some of these haven't been used in a while because I do have my my clear favorites. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my blush collection and seeing how I decluttered a few things. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I will be doing a few more declutters and I will also be doing a full collection and a full inventory. So that will be coming. I did hear all of your requests. I'm gonna do that sometime in the middle of December. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day or night. 
wherever you are, and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.